This project is in memory of Zoe Ruth. She was one of our, our riders. She passed away a year ago in January. The memory trail is in honor of Zoe, my daughter. Every morning she'd wake up and sign for horse. I'd have to say, no, not today. And then finally on Wednesdays, I could say yes. <laughs> yes, today you ride the horse. Today we go see Mr. Chips. She looked forward to it. I mean, every day she talked about it. She loved coming out here. She loved all the volunteers that came out. Um, she just had a, she had a blast every time she was here. The family gave me some information about Zoe, the favorite things she liked to do, or things they did as a family that were meaningful to them. And I collaborated with a, a couple of our volunteers and we brainstormed on ways we could make these activities and memories interactive for riders on horseback. As a sensory trail, you have to integrate all of the senses so we could incorporate the sights and sounds and smells and taste in those um, sensory boxes, so that's pretty cool. It has a lot of the things that she enjoyed through her life. Um, she loved going to the Pittsburgh Zoo, she loved going to the beach, she loved um, butterflies, flowers, anything like that. We wanted to have a grand opening for Zoe's birthday, which was this week on the 13th. And that's when the family could all get together as well. And um, it was a hustle to get things done, but just a celebration of her life near her birthday, um, which was a, a hard time for the family uh, a year so close to her passing. But um, today was about healing, about remembering, and bringing some closure to this project that we had started. And opening up to the public was a whole new component. That was a whole new aspect for me. Um, it was awesome to hear our older adults come out and say, I haven't been on a horse for years, and we were able to put them back on a horse in a safe and controlled environment. Um, and the new riders, the young ones that were so you know, nervous and anxious, and again, it was a very safe and a fun, interactive experience for them. And so hopefully they can walk away and have a great appreciation and a love for horses and, and understanding in the same time of Zoe. It's like Zoe's heaven. That's what I tell people that come through. She was our angel and she'll always be with us, but I think it's great. It's wonderful. I think it's a great project. Um, you know, just going through it was very moving um, and I really, I hope the community takes advantage of it, um, especially our, our kiddos because I think there's something for everybody here and a lot, you can tell a lot of hard work and love went into this and, um, you know, all of Zoe's families and family and friends, you know, put their heart and soul, I think. It was a very touching day, very, um, a lot of hard work went in to this, but it was so worth it. Um, Monique does an absolutely remarkable job, and um, we just can't thank her enough for putting our Zoe where she is. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> kind of overwhelming. Yeah, it's nice. You know, it's nice, nice that Monique wanted to. The amount of work. Yeah, the amount of work that, it, that goes into this trail is amazing. You know, Monique put in the volunteers, you know, and it's all, all has to do with our daughter Zoe. Continues her memory. Continue to heal and comfort and this family and friends and to cherish the memories that we have. I definitely felt Zoe's presence with us today. Um, so many times I would just get goosebumps. So although she, she wasn't here physically, I feel like she was here in spirit. Like I said, this trail just brings out her unique qualities and we can take part in part of her life through this trail and it's just very personal. It brings you a little bit closer to Zoe and if you didn't know who she was when you got here, you knew a little bit, if not a lot, about her when you left.